All right, apologies if you happen to hear an air conditioner droning on in the background. It is, if I had to guess, 30 feet away in a second room, but it's hot and humid, and I need air conditioning going. So uh, let's uh, start this GeoGuessr for this Friday. We're doing something called Geodetective, where it says you should be able to do spot-on guesses from within, th like, either you're not supposed to move or within three clicks of where you are. So, ideally, there should be enough information to be able to figure out where we are. I almost think that says Corfo. Like... We seem to be on a low tide of sorts. Esada de Kayak seems to be... I don't know where this is. To be frank, I'm going to stick to... Is Corfo almost seem like that's like a Portuguese place, isn't it? Or is that... um? Am I just mixing that up with something else completely? I need to move because I can't make this out. This is difficult. So I'm moving a little bit. Please uh, forgive me for wanting to try to get this right. I need this roundabout to see what this road says. Ricardo Balbin, Luis Cardenas. Ustakris Uron, Secretary General. I don't know what this is. Is this like South America? Like I, I don't know. I'm I'm resigning myself. You beat me on this one. Congratulations. This one's fucking impossible. Pardon for my fresh language here, but it's been a bit of a rough day, but that's besides the point of why. We're here looking at geoguest locations, but I don't know where this is. Seems to be a port somewhere on the ocean that this could be Brazil. This could be like Spain. I don't know because this is a. This one's hard. I mean, I'm moving around, so it's obviously going to be difficult that I can't figure out where we are. And it's Pare. Pare is, uh, I believe, a Brazilian thing. Um, if it's not Brazilian, it's Portuguese at least. I'll say we're like here, but I'm probably extremely very much off. And we're we're blurring things out, making this very hard to find out where exactly where we are. This is where someone's gonna scream and say, No, you idiot, Pare is Spanish. This is actually not Brazil. And it's farther south. And you know what? I'm fine with that. This is this one's hard. I don't understand what I missed to uh make this one pretty easy cuz I'm not seeing anything on here. And I'm ready to get my 4 points. Give it to me. I already tell probably with the way that this I'm going to say yeah. See. There's nothing. I don't think I saw anything saying Rio Galagos on there. That one, I don't understand how anyone could have been able to figure that one out in without moving. I mean, maybe it's just that I'm not a good geocaster. That's very possible. Again, this one. I should be able to tell what this is from looking at this. 
Well, looking at this, I see a lot of very tall mountains. This could be the Rockies. This could be... Uh, there aren't any trees. And I see English here with 435 as a zip code. See, if I knew what 435 was, that could help me. I almost think that this is Alaska. But again, I cannot make an educated guess for, without moving at all. 50 miles an hour on the exit. We're going off this road. Um, we're going off, we're, we're going off this road. Judge this as you will. And like, well, he's, he's not doing the rule things. It's, this one's hard. I'm 100% sticking with this one. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to figure this out. Because they're constructing this highway. It's not even done. I'm not seeing any road demarcators anywhere on here. <clears throat> like, I feel that this might just be Alaska. But this doesn't feel like Alaska. What else would it possibly be if it's not Alaska? Um, I don't know. I got, I got half my time's gone here. <clears throat> Very long. I got a cough. Give me a moment. Like this type of uh, open air, no trees on uh, anything makes me feel like this could be Alaska. And we're going to find out right here. Is that a beehive? And is this Utah? This is actually Utah. We're on Salt Air Drive on 202. I would not have guessed Utah at all on this. This one, no. I didn't see anything on here letting me think that this was um, Utah in any way. So I would not have gotten this one. We're gotten very close at all. I see 199 here, but I don't see a 202 anywhere. Well, anyway, how has your week been? It's been up and down. See, the, it's 202, correct? Yeah, Salt Air Drive. We got to be near like Salt Lake. I feel we're over here somewhere. It's just been a week. These things keep happening. Um, bordering along 204. God, we're, I, it's got to be close. I did click. I did click, right? Okay, I did. I think we're up maybe here, I'd say. Um, Yeah, I got nothing new <laughs> to talk about. The cider came out. It's all right. It's very light on the rhubarb. I would need to uh, tweak it a bit more to make it a bit um, stronger as far as rhubarb. Like, there's just a pale little hue of red to it, and I put about a cup in. So, oh, there's 202. Okay. I was never going to get this. If I didn't move, there was no way I was going to get that one. I mean, granted, this place, it's three bars as far as, like, difficulty. So, fair enough. This one I feel I can actually get. Um, I feel that this is that church with the roundabout thing in the back that I remember seeing on a video for potentially superhuman people who are able to actually see things. This one guy was able to draw things while being blind, but actually, like, showing it, which was weird. I feel that this is Tuscany. Tuscany is a place. Like I'm I'm so shaken as far as my confidence in anything now. I'm like, is this actually a place or is it a region? And this entire time I've just been completely wrong. Tuscany is a town, at least, isn't it? Am I an idiot? Anyway. Like, if I knew exactly, yeah, here's the thing this guy was able to draw. I've been here before. 
this I, I've been to this location before in a different geoguesser. I know I have, but I can't remember where we are exactly. Maybe Florence. I swear Tuscany's a place. Why can't I think of it? Just looking to see. It's like, no, you idiot, screaming right at you, and you can't see it, but... I don't know. Get this thing off here, and I forget what this building is actually called. Hmm. All right, so far, guessable places. This has been the most guessable compared of all three. Um, I want to understand this man's logic for... Why, why, of course, Murphy's Law states I'm not going to be able to see you. <clears throat> because you probably have information on there that could help me. Okay, here we go. Kuplat, Comisio, like I'm just looking to see if... Nope, it doesn't say like a town or anything on there that would help me out. This at least I can get the uh, country right. We'll give you that. Yeah, other than the Saturn, not much else to really go on, talk about, brag about. It's just status quo, a little quo all around. <sighs> I don't know if it. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, that one caught up, came up on me quick. I don't know if it grates on people after a while. I mean, I also had a awful night of sleep. Just one of those nights where, like, you're you feel like you're in a fugue state, and you don't feel like you actually slept, but your dreams felt like you were actually awake and flopping through the night constantly, and you can't be completely sure if uh, that was actually dreaming about not being able to sleep or just not being able to sleep at all. And it just made for a very uh, unrestful night of sleep. I mean, they used to happen way more when I was uh, years ago, before I changed the way I slept, at least position-wise. Um, let's see, did I get it right? Well, I got this. I got the. Uh, I got the city right in Florence, but it wasn't Tuscan. Tuscany, I think it's just a region, and I'm dumb. Moving on. All right. This at least. Shell in Netherlands. I should be able to. Are we like on a border? Uh, dot CZ. Well, that doesn't mean we're. Uh, yeah, we are on a border. Welcome to Netherland. Okay. Netherlands on a border of Germany. Now the problem is I see some fans. I think we're actually on the 31. Like maybe there. Can I see a shell? This is a highway. That is a sharp turn on that road. Uh, where else could they have come from if it wasn't Germany? Like, why, don't, why am I assuming it's Germany? Let's Let's come down here to Bruges and look to see if I can't find um, welcome, welcome and bienvenue the A30 alright yeah A30 it said it right on it so maybe I was right so we we're actually right here then okay I'm next to De Pupa that puppet I believe Ze Pupa Come on, get off the screen. Is that N1? Uh, now I'm a little confused. Look for the N1. This is the A7. That is not the N1. That's the A30. Maybe it's not an N and it's just really, like, worn out. So I'm not going to be able to actually locate it. But I think I think this is it. 
So I'm not going to make any more guesses, but I'm going to take a little tour around. I will not move locations. I just want to see this border here. It seems to be a lorry station here. I still don't understand. I think I heard why they're actually called lorries instead of tractor trailers. I mean, granted, is tractor trailer better? Could be. It just, I've grown up with it being called that my entire life. So it's like, of course, that's the way you say tractor trailers. If you say it another way, you're weird. And you Brits, and your lorries, and your scooty scooty bus, trucker, truck haulers. All right, we, we can't go anymore that way. We'll just head this way. Take a ride and just imagine what it sounds like driving past one of these big rigs. Norduced 20. Nordux deuced. North Dust 20. That's what it means. You can't tell me otherwise. Nope. There's the A1. Let's see. This is a cute little... What are you? Are you a potential off-ramp? Is this supposed to, like, stop runaway trucks? Why is this a thing? That's weird. Is it, like, a test thing? I know that they uh, do tests for roads and put little markers up saying this is tests such and such, but I don't know. That just seems a weird thing to have on the side of your road there. Anyway, we're uh, the auto. Oh, you're just here to do some advertising, aren't you? Aren't you sneaky? You're in the wrong country. Nailed it with the 5,000. All right, so this one, this feels Norway. We're in Saxon. Saxon. I don't know if I'm ever actually going to find Saxon because this one, yeah, we see the name of it, but other than it just being a beautiful thing to look at and it's very calming and relaxing and I'm very appreciative of actually seeing this right now because it's putting me in a better mood. I don't know if I'm actually going to find this tiny, this, this sleepy little town of Saxon. But we'll take a look. I feel it's north. The only reason I feel it's north is because there's no trees. And unless this is Iceland. Which it could be. I'm just happening to look to see if maybe like, yeah, they're... I'm going to do this real quick just to satisfy my uh, curiosity. The, I don't think it's Icelandic in any way, but I, I need to do my uh, due diligence because all the letters here, none of them are being used here. So, yeah, I'm going to go back to uh, Norway here. Now, I don't think I'm going to stumble across where it is on the country here, but if I had to go ahead and select location, I would say <clears throat> we are maybe up here, like there, I'll say. I'm going to leave my guess as that, and uh, let's just take a look at, take a look at, is this a town? I mean, you got your dumpster there, I'm assuming that's a dumpster. Or storage of some sort, and you gotta drive up dumpster thing there. These are some cute little houses. I gotta cough again. Okay, I almost thought I was muted again. Hold on. My apologies, my throat's getting a bit uh, ragged, I guess. I mean, this is quite the little idyllic landscape. I mean, this. Weird looking grass. It almost looks like someone took just just took a big sheet of fleece, sprayed it green, and then glued it on your yard. This is this is very very beautiful. I would very much enjoy coming to this. If this turns out to be New Zealand, I'll be very mad. 
I don't think it's New Zealand. I'm, I'm sticking with where I am. This isn't Iceland. Is, I don't think that's an Iceland pony. It looks a little too tall to be one of the Icelandic horses. I'm going to eat so much shit if this turns out to be uh, Iceland. And I really hope that that thing still drives and it's just missing its entire top. That would be cool. That's a former house. No, I don't think it's a house. It looks like a well or something. It's a stairway to hell or something. I say visitor center for whatever very cool looking stream that is. Let's see what if it says something on this house. Now this almost looks like a Airbnb with it's unsettling how close the cars are to the roads here, but I granted everyone probably drives super slow or smartly that they won't destroy your house by driving by it. But look at this. This is amazing. This person has a great job. Especially to... Well, we're in the Faroe Islands. All right. I don't need that. Eh, Saxon right there. All right, well, good mix of interesting places. Whether or not I would have completely agreed that these are guessable locations, I mean, yes, it is hard, but come on. That's going to do it for this week. They keep happening whether you like it or not. They end as quickly as they come, thankfully. I'm uh, going to give everyone their goodbye for the week. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, observations, thoughts, words of wisdom, whatever you want, you just want to type things, put them in a field, go ahead and put them there. I will read them and get back to you. If you have any, if you haven't yet, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends, tell me everything I just told you before. Every, this entire outro is out of order. Anyway, I'm going to continue not going outside because it's too hot and humid. I'll see you back on Monday for another state. Have a good one, folks. We'll see you later.